And now I have a very good friend who is on the children's cabinet with me and also is the commissioner of public health. And her name is Dr. Brenda Fitzgerald. She's a real doctor. <laughs> and she helps people not only like you, but she helps people who are sick. Ms. Brenda. Hello to all of you, and yes, I am a doctor. As a matter of fact, I'm what's called the state's health officer. That means the head doctor in the whole state of Georgia. And what I'm interested in is the health of every single person in Georgia. And I've got to tell you that there's this thing called America's Health Rankings that looks at all the things that keep us healthy and looks at all the things that maybe keep us from being healthy. And unfortunately, there are five related things in Georgia uh, where we are really bad, where we are in the lowest 10% of all the states. And those five things are all related. Those five things are low graduation rates from high school, which leads to higher unemployment, which leads to income disparities, which leads to lack of health insurance, and also leads to one of the highest levels of children in poverty in this country. Interestingly enough, just like Mrs. Deal was talking, reading is not only fun, reading is the way that we can fix all of those problems. Because if you learn to read, you will develop your brain and you can take care of all those problems. Reading is very important because language, like I'm talking to you right now, language is how our brains grow. Language is food for your brain. And I'm a doctor and you know that food for your body, you have to have food for your body or you won't grow, right? And you won't, you won't grow. If you don't have food for your brain, you can't learn. And if you can't learn, you can't succeed in life. So what I promise you, the, one of the things I have in this state is something called WIC. And it is a nutrition program. And we are dedicated in WIC to not only food for the body, but food for the mind. We, almost 60% of the children in Georgia are eligible for WIC. And we have a WIC clinic in 199 places in every single county in this state. And what I pledge to you is that we will have a viable, changing, informative program in WIC for language nutrition. There will be a video explaining language nutrition in every single WIC clinic. Every nutritionist that speaks to a family will talk to every single family about the importance of language nutrition. And then when they go home, they'll take a book. Because I believe that that's the way we can not only solve the problems in Georgia, but make sure that every single child like you has a better future. Because we're gonna talk about good nutrition. And good language nutrition is not just hearing something, not just listening to a cell phone that your mama's talking on, or not just listening to the television, but back and forth. Good nutrition is me talking with you and you talking back with me. And I promise that I will make sure that that happens for the majority of the children in Georgia. Thank you very much for listening. And now I am so pleased to introduce Amy Jacobs. She is the interim commissioner for the Department of Early Child Care and Learning. Thank you.